In the last section, we saw how a recursion call stack works. Now, can there be a way to avoid stack overflow kind of errors? Think about it. Well, there is another type of recursion called tail recursion, which if optimized for, can avoid stack overflow errors. So the kind of recursion that we just saw was head recursion. So we can write a program using tail recursion like this. We write a factorial method, which takes an int type of parameter n for the integer we want to calculate the factorial of, and another int type of parameter result, which holds the value of the previous calculation. So every time we calculate the factorial, the result of the calculation is passed in the result parameter. You will see what I mean by that in a second. Then we write the breaking condition where if n is equal to zero, we just return the result itself because that should be holding the value of the factorial. Otherwise, we recursively call the factorial method and every time we do so, we decrease the value of n by one and pass the result as result into n so that we keep moving towards the breaking condition. We usually overload the method to make its use easier. For example, if we expose this raw method, many programmers might make a mistake initializing the value of result, or they have to know the internal details of the method. We would rather like them to just call factorial and pass the appropriate number, which in turn may call the other method. Note that this result parameter is called accumulator because it accumulates the value of previous calculations, giving us a definite value every time. Now, if you notice, using this type of recursion does not need stacks because we have a definite value throughout the method call, right? After all, the stack frames are used to keep track of intermediate calculations. But here in tail calls, we are passing a definite value each time. But the compiler of the language should be able to identify this as tail recursion. And unfortunately, Java is not able to do so. So even if you write this kind of code in Java, it will still make use of recursion stack and stack frames and is not able to take advantage of tail recursion. But some functional programming languages like Haskell, ML, etc. are able to optimize for tail recursion. Hence, it becomes quite useful there.